Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. Currently got a seventh grader, third grader, and five and three year old doing a combined pre-K level. This is our eighth year of homeschooling, and we love to share here mostly secular homeschooling, our journey, our resources, but we also like to share about our travel as a larger family. Um, we are a family who loves to, to travel and see our country, and so this video is part of that series. Series. So we recently did a family trip to New York City and I shared a whole like recap video. I'll link it right here for you guys. Um, but today's video is going to be specifically about the public library and what we saw there. Public Library in New York City, the, the original one, is there uh, near Bryant Park area. Uh, and so we, uh, it is a public library, so it is free. But the original library, the, the parts that have the books in it, like, um, you can't just go in there just to go in there. You have to, they do do tours. So if you just want to see it, they do tours. But they are scheduled times and you have to be there an hour before or half an hour before the scheduled times. I was not aware of that. I wish I would have known. So now you know if you're planning a trip there. Um, I think I have a picture of the times, um, so I'll put them here. But of course, they're they could probably change at some point. But currently, this is what they were. Um, and we actually didn't weren't able to get into one of those tours not because they were full but because um you can't make a reservation either. Like you just have to show up a half an hour before, and whoever you know they have who it's first come first serve so um we just didn't weren't able to make that but we did get to look at other parts of the the library that are now turned into a museum like not necessarily a museum but there's like exhibits um and so but now they have like a cafe and they have um a gift shop there we didn't get a chance to explore the gift shop we kind of got there later in the day and they close at about 5 30 or well i think it's like six but we had to get our stroller by 5 30 um because we had to coat check our stroller because strollers aren't allowed in the exhibit areas um so we really didn't get to do the public library justice like i would have liked to um but you know that just means that we have some things to look forward to when we go back again but we did get to do like the main exhibit that was there and oh my oh my was that just so fascinating we saw so many things um in this exhibit from the actual winnie the pooh like the the stuffed animals that the stories are written about not just winnie the pooh but kanga eeyore all of them the whole crew was there um we got to see books from like the 1400s books or early writing on like stone tablets and stuff there were just tons and tons and tons and tons and things in this one room that just were amazing to look at desks from famous writers um personal effects from famous writers there was a whole shakespeare section that had original shakespeare book in it it was just the coolest thing that i have ever seen um, the kids really enjoyed seeing the winnie the pooh things and a few of the other things but they weren't as impressed as my husband and i were of all the amazing incredible artifacts that were in this exhibit so i do have videos to share with you guys i'm going to be putting um not video i don't know if i took a lot of video but I definitely took a lot of pictures and so I'm gonna stick this that in for you here um, and then I will meet you back here after that to talk about the um, other part of the public library that we did
main, you know, the original public library building is where the older books are kept and that you can go do research on um, and the um, exhibits are. So that is, that is um, where the original public library is. Bryant Park is behind the original public library. But across the street from that um, is the new public library building that's a very, um, I think it was like seven floors, uh, or six floors and the seventh floor was a roof terrace or something like that. Um, but it is like the actual library where you like like a normal library where you can go and, and get books and all of that stuff. So we did head over there um, to check it out on our last day um, because we had some time to kill and my daughter just loves libraries. She loves books in general, my oldest daughter. Um, and so we did go and check that out. We checked out their uh, children's book section, which was very large, but you know, just your standard run of the mill children's section, very well done. Um, and the kids did have fun kind of just like hanging out there for a little bit. And then we did head up to the rooftop of that public library because there is a rooftop terrace that is open to the public um and so we were able to go out there and kind of see the city from a higher view which the kids really enjoyed um and that was just really a neat experience so if you're in new york city and you have your kiddos and you just need something to do to kill some time it is a great place to go you guys can look at books you guys can hang out have a a place to hang out um, and just enjoy you know a normal day in the city but also get to see the public library from up high the, like the original building from up high um, it was just a really fun experience a great way to kill a little bit of time um, and then of course it's right next to Bryant Park so you can also get outside and hang out outside for a little bit so that was the public library in New York City um, I was very excited to take my kiddos there it didn't go exactly according to plan but we did um, have some really great experiences there and totally worth checking out and putting on your list for your trip to New York City with your kiddos. So I hope you guys found any of this um, entertaining or helpful. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them down in the comments. While you are down there, I would love it for you to subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. This video is part of a series of our um, things that we did in New York City. So as a reminder, I have that original video up here, um, but make sure you're following along to see the other ones. I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.